When we started this project, the bathroom was a blank slate. It didn't have any real design feature, the vanity was in need of repair, and it just didn't feel like it connected with the rest of this house. This is a very standard sized bathroom. It's a three piece and it's about 10 by five feet. So we have our vanity closest to the door, the toilet, and then the shower tub combo. There was no reason to change the existing layout, particularly because we wanted to keep the tile and the tub. It's not large, but one of the perks of this space is that it does have tall ceilings, so it gives the feeling of being a much larger space. As a designer, I find that a space like a bathroom is so functional that it's sometimes difficult to incorporate the level of detail and softness that we would in other spaces in a bathroom. So one of the things that I look for are fixtures and details and wall finishes that do add that element of personality and a little bit of uniqueness to each space. The starting point for this bathroom was the vanity. It's the first thing that you see when you enter the room and we knew that it was going to be a really special piece that was going to anchor the whole bathroom. So that's where we relied on the DXV collection. DXV is an elevated collection of fixtures for a variety of eras and styles. And in this particular case, we were able to use the Oak Hill 30 inch vanity, which is a generous size, but by placing it just a few inches off of the wall, it helps it to also feel like a piece of furniture in this room. The thing that I loved about this vanity is the metal leg that gives it a lightness and airiness and it allowed us to specify the metal finish that we were using throughout this bathroom. I also loved that rather than a traditional widespread counter mount vanity faucet, we use the Oak Hill wall mount faucet in the polished nickel finish and that adds a really interesting feature as well. And there was the option to add a marble shelf to the top of this vanity too. And that again, just adds a little bit more customization to make this a really unique piece. Keeping in mind the movement and details on the vanity design, we then wanted to look at a toilet that matched the same level of finish. One of the things that I loved about the vanity is that it has that open airy base and it meant that the toilet was going to be more visible now from the doorway. So we wanted to consider how we could conceal that trapway on the back of the toilet. Choosing a skirted toilet allows the trapway to be concealed, giving a much sleeker side profile on the toilet, which really helped match the refined details of the vanity. As a designer, I love to use a variety of finishes to make each project interesting and also capitalize on some of the other finishes that are in the space. We had this lovely warm shower wall tile and we wanted to incorporate a different finish than chrome in all of our plumbing fixtures. And fortunately for the collection that we had chosen, it came in a polished nickel finish, which we love. It's a little bit warmer than a typical chrome finish and it just feels timeless and elevated. So it worked perfectly with the rest of the selections we had made for this bathroom. My client was on board with using a wallpaper in this room, which was fantastic news for me because I did want to add some sort of an art installation look. The tile that we were keeping in the space is fairly neutral, so we wanted to go more bold with the wallpaper choice. We considered a variety of wallpaper designs and we ultimately decided on this gorgeous Kelly Wurstler. It's something that has a graphic, bold pattern and also incorporates that warm grey-brown wall colour of the shower wall tile. The Oak Hill collection is classic enough that we could pair it with a more modern wallpaper, and that's something to consider as well. Mixing various styles throughout a project helps it to feel more interesting and elevated. I often suggest using non-traditional light fixtures and mirrors in bathrooms to add a more custom look to a space. Here we used a library sconce above the vanity and a lovely oversized round mirror and this really helps to feel like jewellery in the room and replaces the need for any additional artwork. My advice when doing a bathroom update is to pick a curated collection of bath fixtures that are the best that you can afford in a finish that you love and let that guide the design.